Hi everyone, it's Jim Pagiampsis from Looking for Jim. So Jim carries on assignment for the next week or so. Exciting news about that a little later on. But I'm doing cycling from Queen Street East this weekend on a project that was on. And I'm going on Queen Street towards Queen Street West. And I came across the iconic Jimi Hendrix. Woohoo! Obviously, amazing songs, amazing artists. So I'm going to show some other sights and sounds from my neighborhood coming to you here in this episode. Cheers! Hey everyone, it's Jim. I'm back. James Jimmy Simpson Park here in Toronto. We have a lot of amazing parks here uh, to come and play tennis and uh, enjoy ourselves, sit on top with friends. But this park is named after James Jimmy J Simpson. An interesting job, he served as mayor for one year term in 1935, was also a journalist, socialist, and a trade union, for, was the 44th mayor of Toronto. So this series is about sharing some other very successful James, Jimmy, Jacobs. So this is one of them. Stay tuned for some more Cooning Insights from Toronto. Hi everyone, it's Jim here, Puggy Amp says, as I said earlier, Mr. Carey's on assignment on a cool project. I'm here on Blur Street West in downtown Toronto. Right behind me is Jimmy's, Jimmy's Athletic Club. Wow, Jimmy's Athletic Club, I never thought I'd see that before. Isn't that cool? Because we all need to work out and keep active. So with that, some more sights from Blur Street West, Jimmy's Athletic Club in the house there. Take care, everybody. Hey, everyone. It's Jim here from Looking for Jim. Uh, Sam James Cafe is here on Clinton and Harvard Street. Uh, I always love drinking coffee, so there's a neighborhood coffee place in my neighborhood. As you see, I've covered Jimmy Simpson Park. Jim, the, the iconic Jimi Hendrix. I have a few other Jimmies I'll be covering here, but I just wanted this episode to cover some of the local successful gyms we've had. Uh, again, uh, this season's been amazing so far. I get gyms away on assignment. I have a few more things I'll be sharing. Excited to be sharing some more insights. I'm looking for Jim. Yay! Take care. Hi everyone, it's Jim here. Yes, me, myself, and Irene featuring Jim Carrey came out in 2000. Uh, it was about a gentleman who had a multiple disorder. Uh, it's a sort of a black comedy, but on a very serious issue of mental health. And this particular movie, uh, one character is under control, then he doesn't continue to take his medication, and another guy comes out. So, uh, but again, uh, a, a black comedy film that uh, Jim Carrey did called Me, Myself, and Irene came out in 2000. Obviously, he's done many films since then, so we try and highlight some uh, movies of the iconic and Canadian Jim Carrey. Take care, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's Jim Pat Gamps is here. The late Jim Brown passed away uh, late May at the young age of 87. He was an activist, an actor, and a football star. Appeared in uh, multiple films, uh, from The Dirty Dozen to He's Got a Game, Any Given Sunday, I've, I've Gonna Grit, You're Gonna Get You Sucker, uh, and uh, again, uh, a man who played, paid the path, made the path for people after him in a sport uh, which is one of the most popular sports actually in North America, football. But uh, yeah, he was definitely a broadcaster as well, and he had that, that, that voice that you really wanted to listen to. So sadly, 
Jim Brown has left us, but a uh, cool article, even uh, the great LeBron James uh, uh, said uh, some kind words uh, about, about him, and uh, it was very nice. Uh, again, another James, LeBron James. So, with that, I'll leave, leave this with the obituary of the amazing Jim Brown.